everyone. It's Melanie here with Vinny Chill Studio. Today I'm making a three paneled card using this flamingo sticker. I just used that in a see-through bookmark last week. These are the stickers from the Dollar Tree. This is what I have left since I used a flamingo out of here last week for the bookmark. Look up here in the information up in the right hand corner and I'll have a link to that video as well. But these stickers are so cool because you can see from front to back. And then I'll be using a clear sheet of acetate just for my uh, stash and some of this watercolor cardstock. There's the dimensions. I'll have all the supplies and dimensions listed below this uh, video on my YouTube channel as well. So I cut these down to this size. I'm going to be putting this on a 5 by 7 inch card and I thought that would look nice and then I brought over a rectangle die and I'm going to cut a little frame out of that watercolor paper. And I'm also going to try to emboss this acetate. I didn't know if this would work or not so I gave it a try and I really love the way it came out. So off screen I ran that through. You can see how this is going to look behind my little die cut panel here. I thought that looked really cool. Okay, and then I'm going to bring over a little of this red score tape and that's how I'm going to adhere the acetate to the back of my cardstock panel. This just happens to hold the acetate really, really well. And I'll get that stuck down on there. Now you can see that acetate panel is just a bit smaller than my rectangular pa panel and that is just perfect. And you can pick whether you want the debossed or the embossed side to show from the front. And then I cut a secondary rectangle out of that same watercolor paper and I'm going to just sandwich the acetate between those two rectangular pa panels there. Okay, now if I'd been thinking ahead, I would have left one side without any glue. So I'm going to have to go back and just deconstruct one of these sides because I couldn't figure out how to get this put on the front of my card without the deconstructing here in just a minute. I'm going to let that dry very well and then I brought over this little yellow panel and I'm going to score the one long edge at a quarter of an inch to create a hinge and that is what is going to go between one side of that sandwiched rectangular frame over there with the watercolor paper. Going to use the same red score tape on each side of this hinge to really get a good adhesion between the rectangular frame. You'll see what I mean here as I move along. This is kind of hard to explain, so I'm just going to tell you how I did this. So hang in there with me. Okay, I will get that release paper removed from my score tape and just line this up the best that I can within that framed area. Now to do this I kind of stood my card on end so that I could make sure I have this lined up correctly. So this is going to create the middle panel of my card. So I call this a three panel card because I have the front with the clear acetate and then I've got this yellow panel and I chose just a solid color because I thought that really brought that embossed acetate to the forefront. I didn't want to use any patterned paper because then you lose the design of the embossed acetate. So just trying to keep this a little more simple. Alright and then I will get that adhered down on my card front. Just five by seven. Just trying to line that up as good as I can here. And this creates my three panel card. Just one, the second panel right here, and then the third panel is the actual inside of the card where you can write your sentiment. Okay, now the reason I chose these glass stickers is because I'd like to see the front and back through that acetate. But as I was designing my card, I decided that I liked it a lot better behind the acetate here on that yellow um, section of my card. If I didn't use that on the second panel, it would look a little plain, so I decided to go with this on that second panel. And I think it looks really neat showing through that embossed acetate. Okay, I'll get those stuck down. Now, I'll tell you what, 
These glass stickers are very forgiving. Unlike other stickers, they will not tear your paper should you need to readjust or reapply them. You know, making minor adjustments like this. I decided to bring over this little silver piece of remnant of ribbon that I have to kind of cover up that hinge over there on the left hand side because I can see just a little bit of that yellow hinge there. That's because I'm winging it here as I'm designing this card and it's not exactly perfect but it's perfect for me. Okay and see how I could pull away that pineapple and then reapply it to help kind of hold that ribbon in place and then I'm going to just use a little liquid adhesive and get my ribbon really stuck down on the front of the card and also on the inside. And then I brought over a little bow to finish it off at the front, at the top, and that is it. I love the way this little card came out. I think it's kind of interesting to have the three panels, one that you can see through with the embossing. You've got your cute flamingo and then the inside of the card, and that is it. So a really whimsical little happy birthday card. I am so glad you dropped by today. I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this card today and maybe you get inspired to give the embossing on acetate a try yourself. Until next week, happy crafting everyone!